just reading the paper one day and um, a little headline in the, in the paper and it's like race under pressure and then it was a storyline below that and then as soon as I read it I thought that's it that's got to be the name. My name is Jesse Slingsby I play lead guitar in Grace Under Pressure. My dad gave me my first guitar probably around 11 or 12. It was a piece of piece of crap but got me got me playing. I'm Mel I'm the lead singer of Grace Under Pressure. I got a guitar for Christmas when I was 11 and that was it. There was no other option. There is no other option. Can I grab a minute of your time to apologize? Okay, so I met Melissa through Craigslist. Uh, she posted an ad looking for a guitar player and or bass player. We had him come over and he was really quiet, but he was really good. So we're like, okay, this dude is gonna totally be awesome because he's quiet and he's a really good guitar player. And he's still a really good guitar player, but he's not quiet ever. They're, they're just great. They have uh, a really cool sound. Jesse's an amazing guitar player. So they have like really unique uh, little guitar lines and stuff like that. Their, their lyrics are really well thought out. If, if you looked at all our iTunes or all our music we listen to on a regular basis, there's probably very few bands that would, would cross over that we all listen to. And I think we all take our favorite music. We all bring that to the table to create one unique, unique sounding band. We decided with the new EP to kind of show both faces of Grace Under Pressure. Uh, we never really liked to kind of pigeonhole ourselves into one genre. So we're going to be doing half of a full-on electric sound and half of an acoustic sound to show off both sides of our songwriting and performability. We do a lot of live shows where you get a full drum kit, electric guitars, distortion. And then we also do lots of like smaller venues, smaller shows, more intimate style, just acoustic guitars, no, no drum kit, just a djembe or a shaker or a tambourine. I have some people come up to us and say they like our acoustic sound way better and then there's a whole other crowd of people who absolutely love our electric sound and prefer that over the acoustic sound. I just feel like when we wrote that song, we knew it was like the best song we've ever written. And when we play it live, everybody I talk to, it's their favorite song. It's really groovy, it's got a southern style to it. Kevin was like, on the drums, like, I gotta bust up the cowbell for this one. So he, he hooked up his cowbell, which hadn't been used in any songs or Ever. any shows. or It was just something that sat on the shelf and collected dust. But no, he took, the, took out the cowbell. And then, of course, when we were in the studio recording it, Tim had the bright ideas, like, this song is a harmonica. So we... We bought a harmonica from the dollar store. He gave me the harmonica, sent me into the booth, and said, just, just rock it. out to it. I didn't ever think I'd have a song with harmonica in it. <laughs> in order to have a truly good time, you've got to kind of free yourself from everything else that really bothers you. So, I mean, a lot of our music has deeper set meanings that might be more sad or more angry. We write it in a song so people can relate to it. But at the end of the day, we wrote it so we don't have to deal with it later. We can just sit back, have a fun time, make fun of each other, do silly things. I feel like a junkie when it comes to music. Like, I need to, I, honestly, I need <laughs> to sit down at my computer and, like, write a song, like, at least once a week. Grace Under Pressure, the, the literary term, means to have courage, to have guts. For Grace Under Pressure, it means no matter what kind of you face, you, you can have the courage to do what you love. For us, I guess, it's to be happy in no matter what, no matter what the cost. I took the long road.